Hello everyone, I'm excited to share with you a first glimpse of the Key Stage 2 reasoning paper I've been working on. Now over the years, loads and loads of people have requested this, and the thing that's held me back is obviously it's way more complex than writing the arithmetic paper. Mainly because each question has various different parts, rather than just one answer for the arithmetic question. So when you press mark, you can see that each individual part of each question needs, needs marking as well. So... When you do get it right, so 8 times 7, 56, it does go green as, as you'd expect. Now this is a one mark question, so in order to get the mark, you need to get all three of them right to actually register as a mark. So if we just enter this in here, so that's going to be 70, and that's going to be 14, I think. There we go, and you can see the mark goes to, to one there. I've also, uh, I'm trying to add a range of different um, question styles, just to prove that the concept's going to work. So you can see I've got like number sequences here, tables, formats. Um, one of those fill the division remainder ones here, uh, which is which I think is quite a nice question. So how many sevens in 40? It's going to be five of them, is it? And you can see, then you can work out what this last one here is going to be. Um, I've also got check boxes as well down here. So what are the factors of 60 and 72? Well, three goes in, so does four, so does six and 12, I think. And if you mark that there, you can see, then you get the mark if you got all four of them right. Um, so yeah, obviously some of the questions are worth more than one mark as well. So I've, I've had to um, overcome that sort of like coding challenge as well. But I think I've done enough questions now and enough question styles to prove that the concept is going to work. So yeah, a randomly generated um, reasoning papers is not hopefully too far away. You'll see the questions uh, keep the same order at the moment. Now as I add more questions, I'm going to do some work on where each question appears in the paper so we get a fair representation of uh, the actual reason paper. But for now, I've just got the, the, the questions in a, in a static format. So hopefully that's enough to whet your atmosphere. I'm going to work, uh, whet your appetite. And I'm going to work, over, uh, work on this over the next sort of week or two when I get some chance, add a few more questions. And then, yeah, um, hopefully this will be a nice, useful resource.